Hello everyone. This middle school math video is about operations with fractions. The lesson, adding mixed numbers. We know we can only add fractions that have common denominators. So if you're adding mixed numbers and you don't have common denominators, your first step is to figure out what is the lowest common denominator. What you want to do is rewrite your question with blank fractions, just like this. No numerators, no denominators, and let's just focus on figuring out what the lowest common denominator is. Here's how you do that. Take your two denominators and show that you want to multiply them. If your denominators have a common factor, we would factor it out. If they don't, which these two don't have a common factor, we just multiply them. Two times three is six, so our lowest common denominator is six, which means we should write that in now. Next, we wanna make equivalent fractions. Here we're going from a denominator of two to six, so we're timesing by three. One times three is three. In our next fraction, we're going from a three to a six, so we're timesing by two. Two times two is four. Okay, good. We have common denominators, so now we can add everything up. We start with the whole numbers first. Eight plus nine is 17. Next, we add the fractions. Now we know that we don't add these denominators, so let's go ahead and write in a denominator of six, and then just add up those numerators. Three plus four is seven. Now, we are not done. We have this mixed number, but this part of it, the fraction part, this part is improper. Seven over six is not allowed. So we need to use a couple steps to change seven over six to a mixed number. The way that we would read this is 17 and seven over six. And in math, the word and means we are adding. So we're gonna take this improper fraction and we're going to convert it to the proper mixed number of one and one over six. Now we can add everything up again. 17 add one, that's 18, and then our fraction part is one over six. So that's how you do it. Let's take a look at another example. We have denominators of six and nine, they're not common. Again, our first step is we need to figure out the lowest common denominator. So let's just rewrite this question, leaving the fractions blank, and then let's figure out what's the lowest common denominator when working with a six and a nine. Show that you want to multiply those denominators together, but factor out the greatest common factor. In this case, that would be a three. You can only choose one of these two numbers to factor out with the three. I'm going to choose the nine. So here's what the work looks like. Three divided by three is one, and nine divided by three is three. Multiply what's left. 6 times 3, that's equal to 18, which means 18 is the lowest common denominator. So let's go over here and we'll write in a denominator of 18. So next we're going to make equivalent fractions. So we're comparing the denominators. We had a 6, now we have an 18, so we're multiplying by 3. 3 times 5, that would be 15. In our next fraction, we had a 9. And now it's 18, so we're multiplying by 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Okay, so now that we have common denominators, we can add everything up. We do the whole numbers first, that would be 11. And then we add the fractions next. Put in your denominator of 18, right, because we don't add those denominators. And let's just add those numerators, and we would get 31. And we're in the same situation as we were over here. We have a mixed number with an improper fraction. So we're going to use a step to change 31 over 18 to its mixed number, which is one and 13 over 18. And then we can add these whole numbers back up to get our final answer of 12 and 13 over 18. Let's practice one more. 7 and 5 ninths plus 8 and 7 twelfths. Uncommon denominators, so we're going to use a step just to figure out what is the lowest common denominator. So we rewrite the question with blank fractions. 
And then we go through those steps to figure out what is the lowest common denominator. We're going to multiply 9 by 12, but we're going to factor out the greatest common factor, which is 3. I'm going to choose the 12 to factor with 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I have a 9 and a 4, and when I multiply these two together, I get 36, which is my lowest common denominator. So I can write that in now. Next, I need to figure out what are my numerators. So I compare the denominators first. 9 times 4 is 36. 5 times 4 is 20. In my next fraction, I have a 12, and that became 36. So I'm timesing by 3. 7 times 3 is 21. Now that we have common denominators, we can add everything up. Whole numbers first. 7 plus 8 is 15. We don't add the denominators. We do add the numerators. 20 and 21 is 41. We have another situation with an improper fraction. So let's take a step. And what we do is we change this improper fraction to a proper mixed number. And that would be 1 and 5 over 36. And now we just add these whole numbers back up. And our final answer is 16 and 5 over 36. All right, that is the end of this lesson. If you would like a worksheet that goes with this lesson, there is a download link in the description.